Hey friends, it's me, Pastor Doug, with another word of encouragement for the day for today, Friday, June 25th. And today's word comes out of Psalm 13, verses one through six, and in it, we wrap up our exploration of this biblical idea of lament. Now, if you've been with us over the last few weeks, either in our Sunday morning worship services or in these videos, you know that we have been exploring this biblical idea of lament. And specifically, we've been looking at the movement that lament takes us from a place of honest complaint to God, to asking God to work on our behalf, and into a place of praise and trust. And Psalm 13 beautifully moves through uh, these movements of lament. We've looked at this Psalm numerous times throughout this little series, but I wanna read it to you one more time, uh, just to practice identifying and relating to these three movements of lament. Listen as the psalmist pours out his heart to the Lord. How long, Lord? He writes, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and day after day have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemies triumph over me? Look on me, the psalmist begins to ask. Look on me and answer, please, Lord my God, give light to my eyes or I will sleep in death and my enemy will say I have overcome him and my foes will rejoice when I fall. But I trust. You see the psalmist moving into a place of trust and praise, right? But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing the Lord's praise for he has been good to me. Friends, may you and I learn the language of lament that allows us to move from a place of honest and, and raw complaint to God where we simply pour out our heart and let him know what we're feeling. May that move us into a place of asking where we begin to petition God and ask him and invite him to move on our behalf. And then may we learn to move, sometimes without even seeing our circumstances change, move into a place of trust and into a place of praise where we can begin to praise God in spite of our circumstances. Friends, I, I hope that you have enjoyed and appreciated this mini series on the biblical idea of lament. Uh, next week, we're gonna be starting a brand new uh, series in Colossians. And so our daily videos are gonna look a little bit different, uh, but I hope you'll join us. And I uh, hope you'll join us on Sunday morning as well as we continue to live and share the transforming love of Jesus together. We'll see you then.